The question begins ringing in our ears from the moment Jesus speaks it to Peter. Who do you say that I am? It's a question posed to one disciple. It's a question posed to them all. Every disciple in every age, who do we say Jesus is? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And yet every generation has found its own unique expression of faith in Jesus. From the desert fathers to modern day street preachers. Throughout history, however, Christians have often let culture rather than Christ define their faith. During these periods, Christians cast him in an image that best suits their worldly goals. Who do we say Jesus is? When we place our hopes in the empty promises of partisan politics, when we celebrate the death that accompanies war, when we speak hate to those who need Jesus' love. As I survey today's Christians, I'm seeing a generation that is rediscovering Jesus and the Christian faith and they're thinking and living and engaging the world differently. They want to reject the jewel-encrusted crowns of this world for the one made of thorns. They know that any power we've been given is for the sake of the powerless. They're rejecting the false promise that we can change the world by simply changing laws and not hearts. I see many today who are staring down their Savior and answering the who do you say in an effort to follow Jesus beyond the culture wars. This book is their story and mine.